Hi, I'm Kate Compton. I'm better known on the internet as Galaxy Kate. And today I'm going to be showing you a tool that I made called Tracery and a website called Artbot Club, Artbot.club. Uh, and I'll be showing you how to make a Twitter bot in just 10 minutes. A lot of people think that making a Twitter bot or making a conversational agent needs to be this whole big production using machine learning and advanced techniques, but it really doesn't. So right now I'll be showing you a technique from early on in AI called context-free grammars, um, which is a way for you to make expansion text uh, in an easy way that you direct entirely yourself. So uh, it takes as its input what's called a grammar, which is just a way of specifying symbols, which are uh, kind of buckets of things, and replacement rules. So you can always replace the bucket with a bunch of the different replacement rules. So you can see right here, I've just got one symbol. This is called origin. This is where all the grammars and tracery start off. Uh, and it's just hello world. It's not terribly exciting. Um, so you can see I've got five different variants of hello world there, but they're all the same because we don't have any variants yet. So I can create a symbol. So I can make a symbol for world. And I, make, I can make some options for that. Uh, so maybe GitHub and world and where I am right now, Chicago. And how do I use a symbol? So I can use a symbol by making a hashtag. So uh, you just say hashtag world, and then you close it with another hashtag. Now you can see I've got hello world, hello Chicago, etc. cetera. Um, these are all randomly rolled, so I have to uh, re-roll them to see if I can have some variants. So, oh, there we go, there's the GitHub one. Uh, so on artbot.club, um, this is kind of where your traces are. Traces are one particular walk through your grammar. Um, and you can see I've, I've got five of them here. Um, and they're just like randomly generated. So this is not terribly exciting, but I might want to say switch out hello. Uh, so what if we had another symbol for hello? So I can replace hello with hello in hashtags. And you can see that even though I haven't specified that symbol yet, Tracery is still okay with this. It knows that like sometimes you make a bot and you haven't actually finished all the stuff in your bot before you need to use it. So it's okay with just using placeholders right here. So you can see it puts those in the parentheses that I know how to edit or that I know I have to go back and fix them. So hello world. Uh, and then I can go and say, all right, well, a couple different ways to say hello are maybe, hey, meow, hello, and hola. So now I've got Hola, Chicago, et cetera. Um, there's another neat feature in Tracery, which is uh, you can have modifiers. So you might want to have hello, but I'd like to capitalize whatever comes back. Uh, so you can imagine, well, OK, maybe I can just do that here, and I can capitalize hey. Maybe sometimes I want to use this capitalized, and sometimes I want to use uncapitalized. Um, and so Tracery has this neat feature where you can just do dot capitalize. Uh, so there's a number of modifiers, like dot .capitalize and dot .s to pluralize things. Um, and I'm trying to add in some new ones that are useful. Uh, and so you can see now I have got hey, mihao, etc. But today I wanted to show you making a quick bot that I'm going to call T and a compliment. So it's rough times right now. People seem to need a little bit of happiness in their lives. So I'm going to make some a little uh, bot on Twitter that gives people T and a compliment. Um, so the bot maybe says hello. Uh, and capitalize, uh, and then says, um, here is some tea and a compliment. You can see, again, I haven't actually specified these symbols, but it's happy to just roll with this. So I can say tea uh, is maybe, let's see, you can see I'm creating more, some more uh, replacement rules. Um, cup of flavor tea. So you can see we can uh, embed these and nest them as deeply as we want. And maybe some chai, uh, and maybe um, a bowl of matcha. All right, so we've got some different kinds of tea here. Uh, let's see if we can get that flavor tea. Yeah, flavor tea. Uh, and so that I can specify some flavors. like peppermint, ginger, uh, cinnamon. All right, so you know, now I've got like my, my cup of tea. Um, and now I might want to have another one that says, here's my, so this is just giving us some practice here. So 
you know, what is my, oh, and actually the thing that I want to do with this tea is, you can see it's a little ungrammatical. I want to have a cup of tea. Oh, and uh, maybe I'll say uh, an ounce of coffee um, or an ounce of espresso. Oh. That's better. I'm pretty sure. So I've got some, uh, maybe I'll just have an espresso. I just need to start with the, this because you could say, see that if I said, okay, here is a tea, uh, a espresso is ungrammatical. And so we go back to our modifiers. And so we say t dot a, and now it pre like correctly puts a or an in front of things. So that's a neat feature. Um, so yeah, uh, we're going to make our quick complement. You have adjective noun. And I can say uh, maybe our, our adjectives, or let's do our nouns first. So our nouns are ideas, mm, emotions, and let's see, eyes. So you have adjective eyes. So then I could have things like an adjective might be valid or lovely, maybe deep. Thoughtful. And here's a fun one. You can reuse a lot of your different rules in different contexts to get some interesting emergence. So I might say you have flavor, uh, maybe rich flavor. Uh, yeah. So now I have validized, thoughtful ideas. Um, let's see. Yeah, and you have rich cinnamon emotions. So. Uh, this is very complimentary. So I like this bot a lot already. Um, I'll show you very quickly just one other thing, um, which is you can save things. So you might want to save something to use later on. Um, so I might say, uh, let's see, I'm going to save um, the noun. So I'm going to say my noun. It doesn't matter what you call this. Um, but I'm going to stuff into it a noun. Um, so any noun. And now I can say my noun. So this looks just the same where I'm using some noun. Um, but I can say really very adjective my noun. So this will always come up with the same my noun. Normally, this would be two different nouns. Um, but yeah, you have lovely emotions, just really very thoughtful emotions, just valid emotions, really rich cinnamon and emotions. Um, so you can see that this allows you to reuse things multiple times, which is something you might want to do in bots. All right, so this bot is looking pretty great. If you want to explore around some more on artbot.club, you can also unpack things. So this allows you to kind of visualize what's going on here. Um, you also have this section over here, which shows you how your symbols and rules are being parsed. So I can look at origin, but I can also look at maybe here's the complement. And you can see that it's got all these different uh, um, it shows that I've got my symbol rules here. It shows me that my noun is something that it doesn't know about. Um, so that's just some more options on this Artbot Club site. But now I think we should actually put this bot on Twitter. Why don't we? All right, so I'm going to head over to Twitter in just a moment. OK, the next thing that we're going to do is to create a Twitter account to host our bot on. Uh, so we need a place that our bot can post. I've already made one called Compliment T at Twitter. Um, so Twitter requires you to make a, a new email account for each uh, bot that you make, which is kind of annoying. I use the plus trick in Gmail to help me out there. Um, then I create the account. I go to cheat post on quick, and I have to allow access, and that'll allow me to post from that account. Okay, we're at the final stage of our bot making process. I've come to cheat post on quick here, and I can go back to artbot.club, copy my uh, grammar from there, go over to cheat post on quick, and paste it in. You can see now I've got some example tweets down there. I can choose one and tweet that. And hopefully, if I reload, yep, we can see that it's tweeted here. And I can set how often I want it to post a tweet as. So I can have it post every 10 minutes to once a year. Uh, and then there's also a neat feature where you can say reply. So if people 
uh, tweet at this bot, it will say hello and give them a tea and a compliment custom made just for them. So that's it. You've made a Twitter bot in just 10 minutes. So now you can go to artbot.club or cheap bots done quick and make your own grammar and your own Twitter bot. Good luck.